Hello there, Brad Grizzly here, letting you know to subscribe to the channel. That's right, subscribe to the channel you are watching. We'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I subscribe, then tap the notification bell just in case. We have been noticing that a lot of our views have been coming from people who are not subscribed to the channel, and very little from people who are actually subscribed. So if you're one of these people that are not subscribed, subscribe to the channel right now so we can fix this issue. And now to our video. Welcome to the digital world. By June 12th and 10th. Miss Lupe, you look fabulous. It's because I have a digital converter. A what? After February 2009, that little antenna that you have is not going to be enough to watch TV because the signal is going to be digital. It's going to look and sound so much better. But do I have to buy a new TV? No, you can even watch it in that old TV. Well, not old, mature. But you will need a digital converter like this one. Is it expensive? No. If you ask for a government coupon, you'll save $40. Does everybody need one? No, those of us who have satellite or cable don't need anything. But if I don't get a digital converter, I'll have no TV, no news, no novelas. Without the digital converter, you'll be left with nothing. What? I gotta make a choice right now. Tell your friends and your family. Starting February the 18th, 2009, the national TV signals will be digital. For more information, log on to DTV2009.gov or call 888-DTV2009. Spread the word! You are seeing this message because you need to prepare for digital television. In February, this and many other TV channels will be shut off, but all of your favorite programs are already on air as digital channels. Get ready now for DTV. You won't miss a single show, and you'll enjoy better pictures and sound than you currently receive. If you get TV by a rooftop antenna or rabbit ears, you need to prepare your TV set to receive digital television. For more information on how to prepare your TV set, call 1-877-DTV-5353 or visit www.dtv.gov. If you get TV by cable or satellite, please contact your service provider directly. You are seeing this message because you need to prepare for digital television. In February, this and many other TV channels will be shut off, but all of your favorite programs are already on air as digital channels. Get ready now for DTV. You won't miss a single show, and you'll enjoy better pictures and sound than you currently receive. If you get TV by a rooftop antenna or rabbit ears, you need to prepare your TV set to receive digital television. For more information on how to prepare your TV set, call 1-877-DTV-5353 or visit www.dtv.gov. If you get TV by cable or satellite, please contact your service provider directly. Tonight, heartwarming. Eddie Murphy is at his hysterically funny best. You throw balls at the kids? No, you're throwing them at me. Get this ball! Imagine that. Rated PG. Welcome to the digital world. By June 12th, Antenna TV will be all digital. Get ready with a digital TV set or converter box. Plug the cable from the output of the converter box to the TV's input. Use the right antenna and start enjoying free digital TV now. Win tickets to three. Welcome to the digital world. 
By June 12th, Antenna TV will be all digital. To get ready, buy a digital set or a converter box. Then try testing your antenna. Move it around like this and check your reception. If you're not getting a clear signal or getting no signal at all, you may need a new VHF UHF antenna. To learn more, visit antennaweb.org or phone 888-CALL-FCC. Antenna TV goes all digital on June 12th, so get ready and tell a friend. Hello, I'm Carl Cable, your 3-in-1 cable connection. And did you know that UPC Cablecom is launching into the future and going 100% digital? This means we will be switching off analog television. But not to worry, if you have me, you also have digital. Switching is easy and can be done in just a few steps. First, take a closer look at your TV. Do you have a flat screen? with this logo on it somewhere? You do? Great! Then all you need to do is run a digital channel scan. To find out exactly how to do this, simply refer to your TV instructions. You will also find related useful information on the UPC Cablecom website. Can't find the logo on your TV? Or have an older set with a picture tube? No problem! You can watch digital television with these sets too. All you need is a converter. UPC Cablecom customers can order the first converter free of charge. Digital television offers you not only better picture and sound quality, but also a much greater selection of channels. And all at no extra cost, of course. After making the switch, you will be asking yourself, why didn't I do it much sooner? Enjoy more channels and more entertainment. For further information, go to our website, give us a call or visit our shops or specialist retailers. And remember, if you have me, you also have digital TV. Hi, I'm Jim Mattis, Chief Meteorologist at WWJ-TV. You probably know by now all your local TV stations are going digital this coming February. Now, to help you be sure that your TVs are ready, we've gotten together to create Test Your TV Tuesday. Here's how it works. Every Tuesday, all your local stations will run a test on the air at the same time that will tell you if your sets are okay or if you need to make some adjustments. Now, if your TV isn't ready, I'll tell you where you can go for help. So next time, you'll pass the test with flying colors. So turn on all the TVs in your house right now. That's right. Turn them all on and see if you're ready. Now remember, this is only a test. This TV is ready for the digital transition on February 17, 2009. Please check every other TV in your home now. No further action is needed for this TV set. This TV is ready for the digital transition on February 17, 2009. Please check every other TV in your home now. No further action is needed for this TV set. This TV is ready for the digital transition on February 17, 2009. Please check every other TV in your home now. No further action is needed for this TV set. This TV is ready for the digital transition on February 17, 2009. Please check every other TV in your home now. No further action is needed for this TV set. This TV is ready for the digital transition on February 17, 2009. Please check every other TV in your home now. No further action is needed for this TV set. Well, how did your TVs do? If you saw a green slide, the TV you are watching passed the test. But if you saw a red slide, your TV is not ready. But here's the catch with the red slide. If you have cable or satellite, you don't have to do anything. But if you don't have cable or satellite and you saw a red slide, you either need to purchase a new TV with a digital tuner in it or get a converter box with an antenna that will allow your old TV to work. If you have further questions, call the Michigan DTV helpline at 1-888-DTV-2572. That's 1-888-388-2572. Or log on to michigandtv.com. I'm Jim Mattis. Thanks for watching. We will now return to The Simpsons here on CW50. 
Coming up in just a moment, KTVU will join stations around the Bay Area in a digital television test. We will interrupt this newscast so you'll be able to find out if your television is ready for the digital transition happening on February 17th. Now, when the test begins, if your TV set is ready, a green slide will appear saying ready. If not, you're going to see a red slide saying not ready. The test will last for two minutes, then we'll return to our KTVU news at six. Right now, we're going to start the test. We'll see you again in a moment. We're conducting a two-minute test to determine your readiness for the digital TV transition coming February the 17th. At this time, you should see one of two messages on your screen. If the message is green and says, this TV is ready, no further action is necessary. Please check every television in your home now. If the message is read and says this TV is not ready and your TV is connected to cable or satellite, your provider will handle the transition before February 17th. If your TV says not ready and you do not have cable or satellite, action is needed on your part. Please call 211 or 877 388 5353 or log on to www.dtv.gov. If you're not ready on February 17th, your signal will go away. Again, please check all the TVs in your household now. We're conducting a two-minute test to determine your readiness for the digital TV transition coming February the 17th. At this time, you should see one of two messages on your screen. If the message is green and says, this TV is ready, no further action is necessary. Please check every television in your home now. If the message is read and says this TV is not ready and your TV is connected to cable or satellite, your provider will handle the transition before February 17th. If your TV says not ready and you do not have cable or satellite, action is needed on your part. Please call 211 or 877-388-5353 or log on to www.dtv.gov. If you're not ready on February 17th, your signal will go away. Again, please check all the TVs in your household now. And welcome back. Hope you had time to check all of your television sets. Again, that was a test to see if your TV is ready for the digital transition on February The takeover is one of the starting cornerbacks for the San Francisco 49ers. That's the sporting life. And as you were also saying during the break, Dre Bly, cool name. Isn't it? We'll yeah. see if he uh, has anything left. <laughs> Back it up all on right. the field. Yeah. Yeah. Thank nice, Mark. you, Mark. Well, in 22 days, television across the country will be a digital broadcast. The digital transition will be made the night of June 12th. And to see if your TV is ready for DTV, take the DTV test right now. Take a look at your TV. If you're seeing the green screen, you are ready for DTV. If you're seeing red, well, the television you're watching is not ready for the digital signal. Now go check the other televisions in your home or office if you can. If you see red, you'll need a converter box. When you get your converter box, or if you're already using one, there are still some things you need to know. And for more on that, here's KTVU Consumer Editor Tom Baker. It starts with a converter box and a digital antenna. So first things first, uh, you're going to want to make sure everything's powered off and then uh, we're going to want to hook up the antenna to the converter box. First you're going to want to turn the box around. You're going to screw in the antenna onto the coax connector, which this is called where it says antenna. So this next step depends on what connectors are on your television. These colored plug-in connectors are found on many older sets. This screw-on connector is found on newer sets. Some sets have both. Use one connector set or the other. Plug your converter box and your digital antenna into a power source. Then turn on the converter box and tune your TV to channel 3. Now using your remote, follow the directions that appear on the screen. Now choose your language. Now just keep your set on normal television, 4x3 viewing uh, for standard televisions. And now it'll do all the work for you. This is actually searching to find out uh, which stations are going to pick up with your current antenna set you have. So for us here, we found 17 channels depending on your home and the antenna that you currently have, you could find more or less. Because Bay Area TV stations will be tweaking their transmitters for a while, it'll be important that you rescan for channels every couple of weeks to maximize the number of stations you can receive. 11 of the stations, the digital stations, are located, co-located at 
Sutro. Uh, so you should be able to point an antenna in most cases in one direction and get all those stations. But there are a handful of other stations in our market. And the Bay Area has high rises, hills, and valleys. So in addition to where you point your antenna, how far away you are from a station's transmitter will affect whether you'll be able to see that station's over-the-air picture. You may be in an area where the signal is marginal, or you might not get a signal at all. If you can't get it over the air, you've got to go to cable or satellite. Cable and satellite subscribers don't need to buy a digital converter box, no matter what type of TV set's being used. The cable and satellite companies will take care of converting the digital signal so that their customers can continue to see local TV without interruption. The U.S. government has spent millions to educate the public about the transition to DTV. When we wake up June the 13th and turn on our TV sets, then we'll know how well we've listened. I'm Consumer Editor Tom Vakar, KTVU Channel 2 News. And to learn more about the DTV transition dial 211 or call 1-800 or 888 rather, call FCC. 1-888, call FCC and on the web go to www.fcc.gov. All right, hope you got all that. That is our report for tonight. I'm Julie Hayner. I'm Frank Somerville. Have a good evening, everyone. Good night. <laughs>
time is running out. Act now. Operators are standing by. Call 706-303-7181. your local broadcaster to help you see if your television set is ready for the switch to digital television coming this February 17th. If you are not now receiving your favorite program on this station, you are not DTV ready. Please call 706-303-7181 so that we may assist you in getting your television ready to receive the digital signal. Call 706-303-7181. After February 17th, if your television is not ready, you will not be able to receive programming from your favorite TV station. Call this number now for assistance and be ready for the DTV switch on February 17th. Time is running out. Act now. Operators are standing by. Call 706-303-7181. I'm Mike DeSerio from the National Association of Broadcasters. Television stations will no longer run regular programming in an analog format and will switch to broadcasting exclusively in digital. The switch only affects viewers who watch TV using antennas. This short program is designed to help viewers upgrade to digital. We'll help you set up a converter box, talk about antennas, and answer many questions about digital television. We'll also help you scan for channels, a very important step that everyone with a new TV set or converter box should do today. Please keep watching this entire program. At the end, we'll provide a phone number for more information. To continue watching free television with an antenna, you have to upgrade in one of three ways. First, you can purchase a new set with a digital ATSC tuner. Most TV sets sold in the last two to three years have digital tuners which can pick up all the digital programming out there. Visit dtvtransition.org and click Is My TV a DTV to see if you have a digital TV. You know your set has a digital tuner if the channel numbers come up on the screen with a dash or a period. For example, channel 4 would come up as channel 4.1 or 4-1. If you see periods or dashes, your TV set is digital, so you should try rescanning or reprogramming for channels. More on rescanning in a minute. Second, you can purchase a converter box which makes digital programming viewable on older TVs. Converter boxes cost between $40 and $70 and in a few minutes I'll show you how to set one up. It's the least expensive way to upgrade and the federal government has been offering $40 coupons to help purchase these boxes, but these coupons could take six weeks or more to receive in the mail. However, you can always buy a converter box at the regular price. The third way to upgrade is to subscribe to a pay TV service like cable, satellite, or a telephone company television service. Call your local pay TV provider. So, how do you set up one of these converter boxes? It takes a few simple steps. Each unit comes with a remote control and a coaxial cable. It may also have audio video cables with yellow, red, and white plugs like this, and may have a separate power supply and cord. First, locate the cable that's currently running from your antenna to the TV, take it out of the antenna or VHF jack on the TV, and put it into the antenna in jack on the converter box. This may also be labeled something like RF in or from antenna. Next, take the coax cable that was supplied with the converter box, put that in the antenna out jack on the box, and this may also be labeled something like RF out or 2TV, 
and then put the other end of the coax into the antenna in jack on the TV. Or you can use audio video cables instead of the coax if you have the cables and your set has the corresponding inputs. If you have a VCR or DVD player, however, you can use those particular cables to connect the converter box with either of those devices. Finally, turn your TV on and put it on channel 3 or 4. If you're using the audio video cables for hookup, then select the TV to AV or video. Then plug the converter box power cord into a wall outlet. Turn on the converter box using the remote and you should see the output of the converter box on the TV screen. It usually appears with a setup menu. It will either prompt you to scan for local channels or it will do so automatically. You may also need to go to Menu and select Setup to Auto Program or Scan in Channels. To make sure you're getting all the channels available, you should rescan your converter box or digital television set, otherwise, you might miss some of the channels you received in the past. Rescanning for channels is relatively easy, but each TV and converter box is different. So if you're having trouble rescanning, review the instructions or owner's manual. Going back to rescan involves finding the menu function, usually just press the menu button on your remote control, and choose an automatic scan or easy scan function or manual scan function, and let the television or converter box find channels for you. Before we address antennas, it's important to know that the new digital signals work differently. Once you've upgraded, you should have a clear picture with no ghosts or interference. But if you can't find channels you're used to watching, or you're getting spotty or pixelated reception, there are a number of things you can do. First, make sure you have a VHF UHF antenna. VHF only antennas like these rabbit ears only pick up channels 2 through 13, while UHF only antennas like this silver sensor model only pick up channels 14 and higher. That's why you need a good VHF UHF antenna like this flat one to get all the channels out there. The location of an indoor antenna in the room also makes a big difference to how well it receives DTV channels, and you may need to try different locations to get the best reception. Raising it as high as possible is usually best, and you also need to try changing the location in which it is pointing. An alternative is to use an outdoor or rooftop antenna, which generally works better than indoor antennas. The higher an antenna is placed and the larger it is, the better it generally works. Be careful setting up any outdoor rooftop antennas, many require professional installation. You can pay a few dollars for some indoor antennas to over a hundred for a good outdoor antenna. To learn more about antennas, visit www.antennaweb.org. Now, let's review this checklist to help you receive free digital TV. One, if you have a newer TV set, check your owner's manual to see if your set has a digital ATSC tuner. If you have a digital tuner, you don't need a converter box and most likely simply need to rescan for channels. 2. Older TV sets that use antennas to get reception now need a converter box to get reception. 3. Many channels moved around after the transition. All viewers should rescan their converter boxes or digital TV sets today to make sure they're getting all the channels available. 4. If you have reception problems, make sure you have a good VHF UHF antenna. And remember, a good rooftop or outdoor antenna will always get the best reception. Check your local electronics store for options. 5. If you can see this program, but you're paying for a service like cable or satellite, call your provider to get more information. 6. If you've read your instruction manual and rescan your converter box, and you still think your converter box doesn't work, here are the toll-free numbers for some popular converter box manufacturers. You can also reach some of these manufacturers through the FCC's toll-free number 1-888-CALL-FCC. They may be able to help you. Seven. What if you're still waiting for a coupon, you want one, or yours expired? You can check the status of your converter box coupon at www.dtv2009.gov. To order a coupon, call 1-888-DTV-2009, but it could take six weeks or longer to get one. You could also ask a friend or family member if they have an extra coupon they can give you. Eight. For help, call this number, 1-888-DTV-2009. Call FCC. 
For TTY, the number to call is 888-TEL-FCC. Or try calling one of your local television stations. There could be a high volume of calls coming in, so if you get a busy signal, please try your call again later. We hope this program has helped you to upgrade to the crystal clear pictures of digital television. For more information anytime, visit DTVAnswers.com. WLWT Cincinnati. It's the end of an era as WLWT now concludes all scheduled programming on our analog signal. It's been a historic 61 years for WLWT Analog TV, the first TV station in Cincinnati, the first NBC affiliate in the country, the first all color television station in the country, the first digital station in Cincinnati. And now, the last analog station to sign off. No other TV station in Cincinnati or the nation can match WLWT's incredible history of talent and programming, a tradition which continues into today's digital era and beyond. And now, for the final time on analog television, this is WLWT Cincinnati. Programming, news, and weather continues on WLWT Digital Television 5-1 and on WLWT.com. This is Bill Myers, wishing you a very pleasant good night from Mount Auburn. I'm News 5, Shereen Palello. And I'm News 5, meteorologist Valerie Beatty. From now on, all TV stations in Cincinnati are no longer broadcasting in analog format. If you're seeing this message, this TV set has not yet been upgraded to digital or your equipment is not working properly. Now, if you subscribe to a pay TV service like cable or satellite, you should call your provider immediately. Over the next two minutes, we'll tell you how you can keep watching your favorite shows and experience all the benefits of digital television. Welcome back to Good Day Alabama, everyone. The time is 8.54. In one minute, the digital transition is complete. We switch over to a digital signal like uh, like all per FCC requirements uh, throughout the country. It's happening today. You're looking in master control right now as the, the engineers get ready for that. So we're, you're watching history in the making right now. Our engineers are poised right there to turn off the signal, and we will be all digital. You might be able to hear it. I'm not sure. We'll be quiet for a second. You know, this is, Sarah, you used the analogy earlier that it was like switching from black and white to color television. Uh, we're 30 seconds out. Uh, for folks who are watching right now, it's, there's not going to really be anything different. We've already got a message that's going to folks who are only on analog that they need to make the adjustments to make the switch. Nothing is going to change for you other than we're going to see, uh, see our engineers turn the two dials. Just a news, a news director, uh, Lance Croft, is in here anxious to see this as we make the switch right now. If you get to... That is the analog signal now going to snow. Analog TV is over. We are now in the era of digital television. It's the digital age. Now, what happens to those people who don't have their converter boxes? They, that's what they're seeing. They, they have already, yeah, they had already received the message, as I mentioned, where they were receiving a message from Steve Crocker saying you need to make the certain adjustments. Uh, you may need a converter box. Uh, those folks would need a converter box or they would need an uh, 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 antenna, perhaps. All that information is at myfoxale.com. There are lots of, of resources to help right. you make that transition. For the rest of you, you're watching us right now. Everything is fine. Welcome to the digital age of television. So for those neighbors of yours who may have lost us, you spread the word to them. Let yeah. them know all they need to do is hook up on a converter box and mm -hmm. they will be uh, able to see us and join the digital age as well. History right. in the making today, everybody. Let's check in with Nikki Ferguson. Ah. All right, when we come back, the lovely Sandra Bullock, everybody. I've been trying to get to you. I can tell you somebody who lives a job, and that's totally me. Totally. Okay, a quick question? Sure.
fire slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter's silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of. Wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there, I've chased a shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Up. Up the long, delirious, burning blue. I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark, nor even eagle flew. And while with silent, lifting mind, I've trod the high, untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand, and touched the face of God. night, good luck, and good news tomorrow. You can also reach some of these manufacturers through the FCC's toll-free number 1-888-CALL-FCC. They may be able to help you. On Wayne TV, CBS Fort Wayne. This is coverage you can count on. On News Channel 15's First News. Good Friday morning to you. It is 8.55. I'm Matt McCutcheon. We are just five minutes away from history in the making right here on Wayne TV. More on that in just a moment. But first, let's get the meteorologist straight shop now for a first check.
for just about nearly three years now. This is a historic day here at Wayne TV. We will power down our analog transmitter for the final time. Now, in just about five minutes, head engineer Jeff Christian will head right over to this control panel and press this very button. It says XMTR off. That will power the analog transmitter for the final time here at Wayne TV and in so doing in nearly 50 years of broadcast history. Now right after that switch takes place, this transmitter panel right here will become quiet as it will no longer be broadcasting that analog signal. Right after the switch, in Jeff Creation will head right down here. This is our digital control panel and right here we'll press a couple of different buttons on this panel. Definitely a lot of technology right here. This will boost our digital signal all the way from 300,000 watts to a total of 1 million watts. That will be one of the strongest digital signals here in the new Shana 15 Fort Wayne viewing area. Now this will help alleviate people who may have some problems watching us out in the outlying areas and may have to continuously tune their converter boxes. So by boosting our digital signal, you should see a better picture because of that. Now we do also want to let you know that because of all of our work today, you will want to rescan your converter box periodically throughout the day to make sure you're getting the best picture from us. Now we understand this may cause a little bit of difficulty. Because of that, we have set up an email address for any questions you may still have about this government mandated conversion. That email address on your screen at dtv 2009 at wa.com. We also have several resources there available to you on our website, wayne.com, and we'll have more on this conversion for you throughout the day on wayne.com and at noon. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. This network is the... I'm Heather Heron. News Channel 15 delivers coverage you can count on. Stay with us as we prepare to mark a historic moment. 11 Live will join TV stations across the country in making a switch to digital TV. Good afternoon, I'm Jill Becker, and thank you for joining us for this extended edition of 11 Alive News at Noon. We are now just minutes away from a historic moment in television. WXIA and other local TV stations will make the switch from analog to digital TV. If the set you're watching goes to static at 1230, that means you are not connected properly and you will need assistance. The WXIA transmitter on Arizona Avenue in East Atlanta is ground zero for this big switch. It is the place where that button will be pushed and 11 Alive Karen Greer joins us from the transmission tower with more. Hi, Karen. Well, Jill, I'm here with the man who will push that button and make that switch from the old analog to the new digital days. This will be one of those times, Mel, when people say, do you remember where you were on June 12, 2009? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the signals will change. Your pictures will change. Life on television as we know it will change, and this is amazing. This is the analog right here, the analog transmitter that we will actually be disassembling after this. It will be a backup transmitter is what I'm told for the new digital one that will be fully powered in just a few seconds. Just a few seconds. Yeah. Okay. Which one's the off button? So let's see. Which There are three buttons there. There's a local, there's an off, there's an on. Which one will we be pushing? I hope it's the off. Okay. That would be the red button. <laughs> red button. All right. This is amazing. This is our, right now, that is our analog transmitter. It has been up and running for about how long, guys? Doug? Uh, four, 14 years. 14 years this one has been giving us great power. That's great. And you've been retired 17 years. <laughs> right. I'm in and out. Well, the, we are ready. I'll be back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Quite frankly, Mark, we're ready. Yeah, you guys have all done a great job. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, we're going to leave you with more information now on our official sign-off from Analog WISCT. We'll see you tomorrow on the digital channel. In a few moments, WISC-TV will end our traditional over-the-air analog transmission. Our shows are still available on home cable services, home satellite services, and for free via our new federally mandated digital over-the-air transmissions as Channel 3-1.
Some televisions and VCRs may need to use different antennas and converter boxes to work correctly. For more information on equipment and this transition to digital television, call 1-888-DTV-2009-608-271-4325 and on the internet visit DTVAnswers.com. Thanks for watching. Hola, soy María Guerrero. En solo unos momentos, nosotros, WISC-TV en Madison, Wisconsin, vamos a terminar nuestra transmisión tradicional al aire. Nuestros programas todavía van a estar disponibles para servicios de cable, satélite y gratis en nuestra nueva transmisión digital, el canal 3-1. Esto es parte de un mandato federal. Algunos televisores y aparatos de video necesitarán diferentes antenas y cajas convertidoras para trabajar correctamente. Para más información del equipaje y de la transición a televisión digital, llame al 1-888-DTV-2009 o 271-4325. Y por la internet, visite dtvanswers.com. Muchas gracias. Need to keep doing your thing. All right, here we go. We're going to have a countdown and get ready for it. 10, 10, 9, 8, Almost time. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. Down. That was kind of We're waiting. Waiting to see what exactly we hear from our chief engineer. And we're just making sure we're getting everything right, getting it sure that it is uh, off exactly like it should be. And we uh, are almost there, according to what we hear, just uh, clicking. So you should still be seeing us no matter what. And of course, if you do see us right now, that's most likely a good thing. That means you already have your box and everything uh, set up. So uh, we're still working out right now exactly our switch.
In a few minutes, KVOZ-D will end shut down our over-the-air analog transmissions. Our programs will still be available on all cable, satellite, and for free on our new federally mandated over-the-air digital transmission as Digital Channel 7-1. This also applies to our sister station KBRL-TV Channel 50 on over-the-air digital transmission as Channel 50-1 and 7-2. Same rules applies to KBRL TV. Some TVs or VCRs will need different antennas and converter boxes for them to work correctly. For more information or help, call 1 800 DTV 2009 or 888 750 KBUZ and on the net visit www.kbuz.com slash DTV help. Thank you for watching KBUZ on over the air analog transmission. We hope to see you again tomorrow on the digital channel. Have a good night.